Apart from Jesus, Moses is perhaps the most well-known biblical figure. Throughout his life, he took on a variety of roles. It's easy to romanticize biblical heroes who do great things, but they were ordinary people like us. When the children of Israel were slaves in Egypt, he was born to Joshua and Amram, both from the tribe of Levi. With a sister named Miriam and a brother named Aaron, he was the youngest of three children. Because there were so many Israelite slaves, Pharaoh was scared of them and ordered that all the boy newborns be slaughtered. Moses was shielded by his mother. She recognized him as a unique child and kept him hidden for three months, Exodus 2 colon 2. When she couldn't hide him any longer, she built a small boat for him and hid him in the reeds along the Nile River's banks. He wasn't there long before the Pharaoh's daughter came to his rescue. She hired a Hebrew woman to nurse him since she couldn't. It just so happened that this woman was Moses' mother. The Pharaoh's daughter nurtured Moses in the palace when he was weaned, surrounded by all of Egypt's riches. He grew up in the palace but was aware that he was Jewish. Looking this way and that and seeing no one, he murdered the Egyptian and hid him in the sand the Bible tells of Moses when he spotted an Egyptian assaulting a Hebrew slave, Exodus 2.12. A Hebrew slave called him out on it the next day, so it wasn't the best cover up. We all deal with fear, but Moses did as well. When Pharaoh discovered what Moses had done, he attempted to murder him. Moses had to flee for his life. He spent 40 years in Midian's desert, married Thabis and Zipporah, and fathered Jashon and Eliza. When God, came to him in flames of fire from within a bush fear returned. Even though the bush was on fire, Moses noticed that it did not burn up, Exodus 3 colon 2. Moses was tasked by God with delivering the Israelites from Egypt. Moses was terrified and made numerous excuses, one of which was that he stuttered. Please send someone else Moses said to God, Exodus 4.13. God became enraged with Moses because he did not want to send someone else. To help Moses overcome his dread, God enlisted the help of his brother Aaron, promising to help them both. Moses was up to the task. He led the Israelites out of Egypt through the protracted account of the ten plagues and the Pharaoh's opposition. Do not be scared Moses warned the people, stuck between the Pharaoh and the Red Sea, who had altered his mind and pursued the newly released slaves. Hold your ground, and the Lord will bring you deliverance today, Exodus 14:13. The Egyptians you see now you will never see again he predicted. He was correct, Exodus 14:13. By the strength of God, Moses led them through the Red Sea on dry ground. That was only the start of Moses' valiant leadership. The task that God assigned to Moses was rigorous and demanding. Moses never tried to hide his feelings or queries from God. God delivered Moses the two tablets of the covenant law, the tablets of stone engraved by the finger of God after they spent 40 days together on Mount Sinai, Exodus 31 hours 18 minutes. Meanwhile, the people became bored of waiting for Moses and created an idol to worship. God became enraged and offered to murder them all, instead turning Moses into a powerful nation. However, Moses sought the Lord's favor, Exodus 32 hours 11 minutes. God heard Moses but did not respond emotionally. Moses saw parts of God that no one had ever seen before in response to his prayer to see God's grandeur. And he went before Moses, proclaiming, The Lord, the Lord, the compassionate and gracious God, slow to anger, abounding in love and faithfulness, maintaining love for thousands, and forgiving iniquity, disobedience, and transgression. See Exodus 34 6-7. Moses led the Israelites for 40 years, and God maintained his promise to always be with him. Even when Moses made a mistake owing to his rage, he was barred from accessing the promised land. Whom the Lord knew face to face the Bible states of Moses, Deuteronomy 34 hours 10 minutes. Moses was with God till the end, when he was secretly buried. Moses lived to the age of 120 and was in perfect health. His eyes were not feeble, and his strength was not diminished, Deuteronomy 34 7. The people mourned for him for 30 days until God intervened and told Joshua to take over as leader. And Moses, the Lord's servant, died there in Moab, just as the Lord had said. He buried him in Moab, in a valley near Bethpeah, but no one knows where he is buried today, Deuteronomy 34, 5-6. It's thought that God hid Moses' body so that the Israelites wouldn't build a shrine to it and worship it as an idol. That could be true, or God could be burying his pal. God alone knows, 